Just last month, we launched MultiSearch, one of our most significant updates to search. In the Google app, you can now search by taking a photo and asking a question at the same time. You can snap a pic of a spill-proof water bottle and ask for one with rainbows on it to brighten your kid's day. Or in my case, I was able to take a photo of my leaky faucet and order the part to fix it. And the funny thing is, I still don't know what that part is called. <laughs> but this is just the beginning of what we can do with multi-search. With later this year, we'll add a new way to search for local information with multi-search near me. Just take a picture or long press one you see online and add near me to find what you need from the millions of local businesses we serve in Google. Near Me will work for, on multi-search for everything from apparel to home goods to my personal favorite, food and local restaurants. So let's say I spot a tasty-looking dish online. I don't know what's in it or what it's called, but it's making me hungry. With this new capability, I can quickly identify that it's japchae, a Korean dish, find nearby restaurants that serve it, and enjoy it in no time. <laughs> While this all seems simple enough, here's what's happening under the hood. Google's multimodal understanding recognizes the visual intricacies of the dish and combines it with, my, with, under, with an understanding of my intent, that I'm looking for local restaurants that serve japchae. It then scans millions of images and reviews posted on web pages from, and from our active community of Maps contributors to find results about nearby spots. Multi-search near me will be available globally later this year in English and will come to more languages over time. Today, Today, this technology recognizes objects captured within a single frame. But sometimes, you might want information about a whole scene in front of you. In the future, with an advancement we're calling scene exploration, you'll be able to use multi-search to pan your camera and ask a question and instantly glean insights about multiple objects in a wider scene. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're trying to pick out the perfect candy bar for your friend was a bit of a chocolate connoisseur. You know they like dark chocolate and have an aversion to nuts, and of course you want to get them something, to go, something good. If you went to the store today to find the best nut-free dark chocolate, you'd be standing in the aisle for a while. You'd look at each bar, figure out which type of chocolate it is, whether it's nut-free, compare and contrast the options, and maybe even look up reviews online. But thanks to scene exploration, you'll be able to scan the entire shelf with your camera and see helpful insights overlaid in front of you. Yeah, insights overlaid so you can find precisely what you're looking for. Try doing that with just keywords. Here's how it works. Scene exploration uses computer vision to instantly connect the multiple frames that make up the scene and identify all the objects within it. Simultaneously, it taps into the richness of the web and Google's knowledge graph to surface the most helpful results. In this case, which bars are nut-free, dark chocolate, and highly rated. Scene exploration is a powerful breakthrough in our device's ability to understand the world the way we do. And it gives us a superpower, the ability to see relevant information overlaid in the context of the world around us. You could imagine using this in a pharmacy to find a scent-free moisturizer, or at your local corner store to find a black-owned wine label to support. This, this is like having a supercharged control F for the world around you. <laughs> Looking further out, 
This technology could be used beyond everyday needs to help address societal challenges, like supporting conservationists in identifying plant species that need protection, or helping disaster relief workers quickly sort through donations in times of need. From multi-search near me to scene exploration, the advancements we've talked about today are in service of our broader vision to make search even more natural and helpful. So you can search your whole world asking questions anyway and anywhere. 